Hey guys, just wanted to go over this uh, new G code optimal drop um, holster with the thigh strap. Although it's not new in concept, it's new for G code. And uh, the only difference being now is that this tab here at the bottom uh, with two screws now can accommodate a belt strap. Um, I originally purchased the first generation of the RTI optimal drop, which was great. Um, and it, it worked, but when you draw, it has a tendency to pull out and move up and, uh, really hinders uh, a smooth, uh, consistent, uh, draw. So, uh, moving over to the, the new thigh strap that pretty much solved that problem. So on the inside, they have uh, a couple strips here of um, just a rubberized material that helps grip to your um, clothing so it doesn't shift around a lot. And it has, um, uh, this particular one just has a standard plastic buckle. Uh, they do offer this with uh, the, the newest version. It has a uh, Cobra buckle, just like these here. But... Um, I opted for just a standard plastic buckle. It, it works fine. It's, it's solid. So um, you can also buy this with or without the RTI wheel. So what I did when I bought it, I bought it without the wheel. And um, I had this old RTI belt mount uh, with the wheel on it. And basically just want to take that off and put it on the new one. Um, so I was just going to use the screws that came with it. Um, but once I mounted it, I uh, realized that the screws were too short. So what I did is went to Lowe's. And keep this in mind, you may have to do this as well. Um, I went to Lowe's and got these. And uh, the only difference is they're just a quarter inch longer than the ones that came with the original RTI. So um, maybe G-Code offers them on their website um, that you can purchase separately. I don't know. I didn't look when I bought it. I just bought the whole setup without the RTI wheel. Saved, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that. I don't remember how much it was. So I just got these um, stainless steel matched up the thread pitch. And um, they were great. So they, they were long enough to, um, to, to uh, screw into the T-nut the on the back added some Loctite and it's, it's rock solid. So it, um, it's been, it's been great so far. I haven't had a whole lot of time on it. Just done some dry firing here, you know, um, haven't taken it to a class or uh, the range yet. So, but it, it's working great. So, um, this was my first belt. It's a um, high speed gear, uh, duty grip. And while it was fine, it was my first belt, and I used the magazine uh, pouches that I had from Blade Tech, and you know, added a med pouch, and I was running this RTI optimal drop, which was fine. But um, since then, this now sits in the closet for the most part. Uh, since I got this belt, this is the Blue Alpha Gear double belt, which has the inner Velcro belt and the outer. Uh, belt, so it's a two-piece belt, which is awesome. Um, I ended up winning this belt at the NRA convention. Um, it was the Gun Collective uh, panel with a bunch of uh, the YouTube guys, and they had a drawing. And I ended up winning this belt, so that's why I ended up changing my whole setup um, because this was fine, and it was it was a good belt. It's not as rigid as I liked it to be. But it did its job for the short time I had it and ran it. So once I won this belt, I basically took a few things off, added some new mag pouches, and um, switched over to this setup. And uh, I couldn't imagine going to anything else. But So what I did is I, I added my tourniquet here with just some um, double-sided Velcro and just ran it through the molly on the outside of the belt just to hold it in place and, you know, I can get to it quickly. 
in the event that I need it. So that works out nice. And then this med pouch I actually had on my high-speed gear belt, and I just took it off. Everything's the same. Um, it was in my first belt review that I did on that one. I just took it off, slapped it on here, and none of the contents or anything changed. But um, it's working great. And uh, I just ran that through with uh, some Molly um, attachment here. goes, you know, through the belt. And it's great. And then I have the Maxpedition uh, dump pouch, which I, is, I have the same pouch on this belt as well. Um, I just went with this one as well. I could have used that one, but... Um, I actually ordered two of them on accident, so I ended up with uh, an extra one. So then moving around here, I threw this um, K-Bar TDI on the belt. And, you know, I had it laying around, just wanted to throw a fixed, um, fixed blade on my belt somewhere. And it's, it, you know, fit the bill. So moving around on my left side, I, um, I originally had these Blade Tech hard kydex pouches for, for magazines. Uh, so when I bought this belt, I decided to go with the s -Tech Kiwis, or the Kiwi, however you pronounce it. And I'm running the um, WTF straps for the mag pouches. And then I just went with a standard uh, plastic or um, injection molded uh, belt loops for the uh, rifle mag. And um, these WTF straps are pretty cool. They're pretty much indestructible. It's, you know, they've been around for a while. There's there's a ton of reviews on these mag pouches and this strap, but um, great setup. Takes a little while to um, figure it out, but once you get them in there and get them all strapped up, it's rock solid. And then just moving forward, I just got a, a little $3 HK style um, clasp through some um, some uh, cords on there, tied up my gloves, and it's it's working just fine. So uh, that's the new belt setup with the new G code RTI uh, thigh strap. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.